I recorded a video on the Bomba like a year or more ago, or more ago. It was probably one of my first YouTube videos. And I've had people asking to explain like the fingering I use on it. And I play it in more of like a, a like a, a strumming combination finger picking style. A lot of times when you hear La Bamba, it, it's mainly just like really fast strumming. And so uh, playing it like finger picking style kind of adds a little different flavor to it. So I like to play it that way. So before we start, we should understand the strumming pattern on it if, if we were just to strum it. Um, now correct me if I wrong if I'm wrong, but it's it's played in four four time, and I believe every chord change you make comes on the upbeat, except for the F, which comes on the downbeat. I, you should tap your foot when you do this. I can't really tap my foot here because it's carpet; you won't be able to hear anything. But and it's a C. We got a C and an F and a G chord in La Bamba, and a G7. I use a G7 too. So every chord, like it st I start with G7, comes on the upbeat. Just get comfortable with that kind of rhythm, um, just and that, that will help you. Because when we start finger picking a little, it's easy to lose rhythm or it's harder to tap your foot to it. So I start off strumming on the um, upbeat of the G7 chord, and I go into the C chord. I start finger picking a little, and I play it like, and that's just played. I play the bottom treble strings, three strings, and I hit the C bass. Then I play the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd string and hit the C bass. And I move into a full barred F chord. I hit the 6th, 4th, um, and 3rd string. And then I hit the 4th and 3rd string two more times. So Then just the open middle notes for a D, or I'm sorry, for a G chord, and the G bass. So. that G7 scored, uh, chord, I strum that. Sometimes I use a Roschiato there, but um, just for the sake of this video, we'll just stick with straight strumming up and down. Start some upbeat. Then back into that exact same pattern for the C chord. Then I move into this F chord. This F chord is played with the open A bass, and you got your uh, third finger or the third fret, the F note on the fourth string, the A note on the third string, and the C note on the second string. And I play that chord again, but this time I don't play the bass note, I just use the middle string. Then I play uh, the fourth, third, and second strings with my little finger on the uh, third fret, the D note of the second string. So. So. Then I hit the B note on the fifth string and the open D. So. And I hit the G, G chord, and I hammer on, you got hammer on really hard with your little finger on that third note of the uh, second string on the D note. Hear that? Then you're gonna play a G7 chord. So you're just gonna hit the bass on the sixth string, the G note, and you're gonna play the third, second, and first strings. And pull off with your uh, first finger on that F note. So. And you're gonna play a G uh, chord, but just use the B note here bass and play the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd string, the 2nd you're playing that uh, D note on it, so, okay, and then you go right back into that same pattern for the C, uh, C chord, and really that, that's it, I mean if you get that part down you got it, and then it just, it just alternates back from that pattern, going back from the C, and the F, and the C, and the F. With, with the G in there, and uh, the F chord is sometimes played like or sometimes played like you know, just kind of alternates back and forth. So up to 
speed it would sound like. I learned that version from uh, Mark Hansen's Great American Tablature Songbook. I think I mentioned that. I play. I don't play it exactly the same. I'm sure I've changed it around a little bit, but that's the basis um, from which I learned it. So if you want to pick up that book uh, by Mark Hansen, the Great American Tablature Songbook, um, you will have the tablature from the beginning to end, which would be really helpful. So anyways, I hope that helped a little bit for you that wanted to get a little bit better understanding of the finger picking style I use. Okay, talk to you later.